still getting used to the fact that I'm doing vlogs now. I want to show you my... Oh, that was loud. <laughs> I want to show you my exercise routine. Not really show you, but... Well, as you may have noticed, I got distracted in that last clip because I heard the loud noise. I thought I could continue, but I decided to just start another video after the noise has passed. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to walk you through my morning exercise routine. Uh, again, it may differ on the day depending, like some days when it's extremely rainy, I'm not gonna go outside into the forest because this entire path is flooded. So, um, I mean not flooded, but just extremely wet. So it's extremely difficult to walk, on, like to walk here and, you know, stretch here or anything like that. But yeah, this is just... You know, a very simple exercise routine and also for me because I love nature, I love the outdoors. I just wanted to show it to you guys, maybe you'll like it too. Just wanted to pop in here and just say that this is my morning workout routine it's actually very simple i don't do anything crazy like a lot of people may think i do like a plain walk for like actually i've never measured but like a couple of kilometers then i turn around while i'm walking i do like a light stretch then on the way back i do a little run i turn i go to the forest as you can see i love the forest i love the nature and here i do a little stretching routine nothing too complicated i'm not that advanced i can't do like yoga pilates like nothing crazy just regular bar stretching like they do in like most dance classes and whatnot like before you start so just that some balance training because in my opinion my balance is very bad but i'm trying because i really want to get better at it actually because i was interested in starting yoga and pilates i wanted to improve my balance which i still do because a lot of sports require balance and it's definitely something that I'm working on and if you're bad at balance, I can show you some exercises later. But for now, my confidence is not that high to record my entire exercise routine. So perhaps one day, but for now. And yeah, after the stretch, I just keep on walking down the path, like down the stairs. And um, afterwards, there's also a little hill. So I go up the hill and back to my house. So yeah, pretty simple, nothing crazy that's that and i think a lot of you might be wondering why i'm wearing these like hand wraps it's because i actually started my um like boxing journey you can say i don't i'm not quite sure where i'm going with this yet boxing or kickboxing but it's definitely something that has interested me for my entire life as like for as long as i can remember i always want to do something like martial arts because a big chunk of my family is in martial arts so but because I'm a girl, it wasn't that feminine. I never really did it as a kid. But now that I'm an adult, it's something that interests me and I'm trying to get into it. So if you guys actually have any interesting suggestions on how I can improve my self-taught boxing slash kickboxing journey, please let me know. So as I continue my hike, I felt like I needed to continue talking <laughs> because um, yeah I go on my hikes alone so I love the fields the fields fields the hills gorgeous love the nature because most of the year like the majority of the year I live in the Middle East right so they're not just say the, the nature is not very green there <laughs> Um, they surely are trying with like, you know, the trees and everything, the cities are great, but um, yeah, it's definitely not as green and this is something that I miss about living further up north is the greenery, you know, the forest, the trees, the flowers. I love, love, love nature with my entire heart. I grew up in the mountains, literally, ever since I was a kid, we lived on a mountain in the black forest in germany i'm a big fan of that whole area like it, it's great but yeah but the city i live in now definitely lacks you know the nature it's mainly desert even though they do have some like artificially planted nature it's it's not the same like you know we all know it's not the same thing 
Um, so yeah, that's why I truly enjoy visiting. I love my family, of course, I enjoy visiting my family, but I also enjoy, you know, just the random strolls through nature, the birds, the even the insects, as you may be surprised. I just generally love nature. One random thing I realized as I was re-watching all the videos that I've made so far and like listening to my own voice, people who come from bilingual families, please tell me if you can relate to this. Whenever you travel to visit family and like speak in, I guess you can say like, you know, like at least some of your family's native language for a prolonged period of time and you stay in that environment for a long period of time, like your accent changes. I don't know how to explain this, but I'm just like re-listening to my like videos that I made just now. And then like I have my videos I have from like, let's say half a year ago when I was back in the Middle East and like studying and everything. What's going on? Like, what's up with like, the accent gets worse. Like, please tell me that I'm not the only one, that I'm not crazy that it happens to like other people and I'm not the only one. Finally home. So the entire exercise routine takes me like an hour to do, which is not that long. I personally enjoy it. And I think that's the biggest like advice that I would give to anyone who's trying to get into any kind of like, you know, sports, exercise, or just generally like a more active lifestyle. I would definitely just recommend you to find something that you truly personally enjoy. And after you do that, I think you're all set. So yeah, now I'm home, I'm gonna get to my little boxing slash kickboxing self-taught journey. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.